we're on the side of a cliff. After spending a few days on this Alcante trek, hiking in the mud, making new friends, and exploring one of the seven wonders of the world, it was finally time to leave the trail and head back to Cuzco, where we ate our way around the ancient and colorful city. That one's strong. Today, we are heading two hours north into the Sacred Valley, where we'll be spending the night suspended in a glass box hanging from a cliff in one of the most extraordinary hotels in the world. Oh yeah. Feeling very cool. We actually got picked up around two this afternoon for a two hour drive to the Sacred Valley. And now we're about to ascend to the tallest pod because Jordan couldn't help himself. I'm nervous. My bag's heavy. Don't know how to work this yet. <laughs> Time to go. It's your birthday. Oh. <laughs> All these different anchor points you have to disconnect and reconnect and they're honestly so much closer together than I ever would have thought. One at a time. It's kind of nice though because it's like a bunch of built-in brakes. <laughs> if you've done some research into like unique hotels here in Peru, you've probably come across something called the Sky Lodge, which is effectively this one's sister. They're legit just down the road. But there are a few differences. The Sky Lodge you have to climb along the cliff without these steps, but also the toilets don't flush and we get a hot tub. So whether you want adventure or comfort, it's going to be one or the other here. Oh my God, this bridge we have to cross it <laughs> one by one. Oh, it's so wobbly. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is definitely the scene from Shrek. I don't look down. Keep on moving, I don't look down. I'm looking down. Part of me hates Jordan for choosing the tallest one, but part of me is like, if you're coming, you may as well do it, you know? I'm also glad of the fact that this should be one of the most difficult times we're doing this because we've got our backpacks and everything on our bag. I'm not looking forward to doing this at night though. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that terrifying? It's pretty far down. It's good views though. <gasps> we made it. That wasn't too bad. I'm so glad for all those breaks of having to cliff and unclip because I feel like you don't get too out of breath. I honestly didn't think this would be that scary, but it was terrifying. How do you get in? Wow. Okay, it's just like a ladder. <laughs> Thank you. We did it. What is life anymore? My expectations for birthdays has gone through the roof now. I don't know how you're gonna top this next year. This is the best! It's a very expensive opportunity to do this and stay here. And we were really tossing and turning whether or not to book it. But I'm just having the best time. Such a good view. I think it's the adrenaline that you get walking up the yeah. stairs to get here. It's crazy looking over the edge, isn't it? So far down.
dinner was delicious. Now for a pitch black hike back to our capsule tent spaceship where we're gonna finish our wine and maybe play some cards because it's my birthday so I get to decide. <laughs> Good night, baby. Happy birthday. Sweet dreams. These thick, fluffy blankets meant that I had one of the best night's sleep I've ever had. I was just out, plus the stars, and then you get to wake up to this incredible view. How'd you sleep? Took me a little while to fall asleep because I kept being like, we're on the side of a cliff. <laughs> Once you forget that, this is like one of the best beds we've ever had. The pillows are so cozy and there's nothing a hotel can do that's more luxurious than having like a big white fluffy duvet. But they also give you this one. So it's really heavy and warm. Mm -hmm. I spilled it on myself. Jordan's just up on the roof to fly the drone for a little bit because there is a lot of grey clouds in the sky that look a bit menacing. <laughs> and I think we're gonna get ready for the day and head down for an early morning hot tub. They said we can go anytime from 6. I think they normally recommend like 9.30 because then you can make your way down and go straight to breakfast from there. But I think we're gonna go down a little bit earlier and then come back up one last time. Because how can you just leave these pods? Just come to sleep and then leave. probably one of the most unique accommodations we have ever stayed in and I can't imagine this getting beat anytime soon. We are 9,700 feet in the air hanging off the edge of a cliff face by just a couple of strings. I know it's a lot safer than that, but it feels pretty precarious. Considering that's where we are, we actually have a lot of luxury in this little spaceship capsule, starting with the bed. I would normally like run and jump on the bed to show you how comfy cozy it is, but I'm worried about making sudden movements. This is probably one of the comfiest beds we have had in a very long time. There's this gorgeous, white, clean, fluffy sheet. We each get two amazing pillows and underneath there is like this weighted blanket that just sends you off to sleep. And then you get to look up at all the stars or the sunrise. Oh yeah, there's a plane. Okay, because Jordan asked for the tallest of the pods, we were able to just sleep with all of these curtains open last night. Whereas everyone else, I think you'd be a bit worried that someone above you could maybe peer in. Because we can see in. This capsule is eight feet wide and tall and 14 feet long. So this is one end. Then next we have two single beds. So you could very easily fit a family up here quite comfortably. Whoever gets this side has a rather scary view because their entire wall is just a window. They also have put up a little sign of all the constellations. So all of the pods are named after different Incan constellations. We're in Orion, which is the tallest. Next, we have some storage space. We've already made such a mess of this, but this is where you can put your bags. They've given you some extra blankets, as well as a bunch of different teas, every option of glassware you can think of, cups, mugs, and wine glasses, as well as a jug of purified water and a thermos that is still hot this morning. We also have a ladder. This is how you get in and out of the amazing pod. That's all there is about that. <laughs> and finally, 
let's switch spots. This is one of the most unique bathrooms we have ever had and probably will ever have. I just don't know how we're ever gonna beat this view from a toilet. Speaking of, we have like a proper flushing toilet here and we are hanging on the side of a cliff. Like how have they done that? On the other side, there is a proper running basin as well as some little amenities like a towel, some soap, and a little bowl of potpourri. It smells so good, it smells like roses. No one will ever know. Jordan did a big stinky poo. <laughs> there is no shower in your main capsule, but when we go down to the hot tubs, I'll show you where it is. This is pod six coming down to the spa. At the spa, there are three separate hot tubs and three separate like dressing room bathrooms. And I think we got super lucky because there are only three groups staying here tonight. So we each get our own pod. This is ours. In here, you have a proper flushing toilet again with toilet paper, basin, running water, all of that good stuff. Plus a shower with shampoo, conditioner, body wash. So we've got to rinse off before we hop in the hot tub. In my professional opinion, after staying in way too many hotel rooms the last two years, there are a couple of things that make them really luxurious. One is when you get really fancy robes like this. I don't expect that from every hotel though, because I know that this is a lot. But the other thing is when you get multiple towels. Like if I can have two towels without stealing one from Jordan, that is the height of luxury in my opinion. These jacuzzi hot tubs are so cool. We're just like overlooking everyone right now. And we came down earlier than everyone else. So we're alone. That's so cool. That's our pot. Right at the top. So we were actually in here last night, but the footage probably was a little bit dark. Emily looked a bit scary with a candle flickering in her eyes. <laughs> this is so magical. But these hot tubs are fully wood fire heated so the temperature is really hard to control if it gets too hot they just come up with a massive hose and cool it down for you we decided to wake up really really early to try and get here by ourselves it is still like it's seven o'clock so not super early the views of the sacred valley are just phenomenal and the fact we're down here by ourselves so there's three separate jacuzzis but what's really nice is they've sort of separated them by like pots of plants so even though we are all in a row it feels like quite private i love it here i don't want to leave <laughs> soaking it up in the hot tub, but now it's time for breakfast, which is also included. <laughs> He's lying to you. We've been here by ourselves for what, half an hour? Yeah. And now other people are starting to arrive, so we're gonna jump out in a second and go run around and take more photos and videos of the capture because we can't get enough. And basically be in there until the very last second until we have to run down and have breakfast, which I'm sure will be delicious. Last night was like a full on four course meal. Four courses, not three. We had a delicious pumpkin soup with these mouthwatering croutons. Then this dark leafy green salad, which was really, really good. The main, I had like veggie patties with potatoes and Jordan had chicken and potatoes. And then a really nice mango dessert. It was the perfect sweet treat. Happy days. Happy days. I don't know how you're gonna top this for next year. Mm. Challenge. You know, since you've been 30, you've mm -hmm. never been below like 9,000 feet. <laughs> We've heard the guides here talk about how windy it gets and it was pretty windy when we first got here, but the weather cleared up and it's been amazing. We had completely clear skies last night, no wind this morning, 
we'd be very lucky. It was that clear. The stars were so bright and twinkling. It's the brightest and most stars Jordan's ever seen. And we tried our hand at like night star photography. They turned out okay. <laughs> they did nothing. <laughs> just had the best birthday. Got a really cute call as soon as we got here from my niece. <laughs> it's the best happy birthday song I've ever had. A mouth-watering dinner, a steamy hot tub, and then this phenomenal view from where we're sleeping attached to a cliffside. Very, very lucky and grateful. And I'm sure I look really cool for 30. Hat and gloves. Let's go. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> Pod six on their way down for breakfast. Bye, best hotel ever. <sighs> I think this is going to be the scariest trip because my backpack's so heavy and we're going down. They're the two worst things. Sad to report that our next hotel will not be this cool. But I am officially obsessed with like adventure, one of a kind, super unique, extraordinary hotels. So if you know of any, leave them in the comments and maybe we can try and plan our travels to visit a few more. Let's go. Should we take a bag? A yeah. I won't, but you can. Just letting you know we're on the way down to the spa. Oh, good Why was that so exciting? <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> but we climbed that like five times. <laughs> Thanks for a great birthday. Happy birthday, bud. I love you. I love you. There's so many bugs.